It's a pleasure to have you join us here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, as we proceed through to race day to see just who will claim victory at the Spanish Grand Prix. The Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, a track that will certainly force the drivers to push themselves. It consists of a very impressive main straight going into turn one. It's a straight that also offers a DRS zone, so it's likely to be a hot spot for overtakes. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Perez, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Vettel, Leclerc, Stroll and Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Gasly, Esteban Ocon and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, George Russell and Nikita Mazepin, Latifi and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. OK, copy that. Top 10. No issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Pick up rubber and bring it home. Another Spanish Grand Prix is over, and what a special race it was. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. Well, Ant, an end to another...